In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you three different studio angles that I'm using on a daily basis using only two lights. So for my YouTube videos, I'm using three different setups on a daily basis. The first one is the front angle, then I have the side angle studio shot, and then I completely change it up for the short form content by filming towards the wooden slat to give me a third angle. For all three angles, I'm using two lights, and they're both the Aperture 300Ds. One of them, I've got the Light Dome 120 centimeter diffuser, and then the other one, I'm using the Lantern diffuser. Now, you don't need to go out and buy those specific lights, especially if they're out of your budget, but you can just take the same principles that I'm gonna be teaching in this video, and then use them with lights that are more fitting to your budget. I personally love the Aperture 300Ds because they're really powerful, so I can control the lighting in every situation I'm in. You can adjust the white balance, so you can match it to the room, whether that's tungsten lighting or daylight or cloudy or whatever, just to match the lighting color as well. And with diffusers, you can get really nice soft light, which is what I'm always looking for. Okay, let's jump into angle number one. Okay, so this is angle number one, the front angle or the main studio angle. And in this one, I'm sitting at the middle of my desk and I've got the room long length ways behind me to create nice depth to the room. And I'll often have the A7S III on a tripod like right now, or sometimes if I want a little bit of a closer shot, I'll actually put on the Joby Gorilla Pod and have it just on the desk right here. I like this angle for a few reasons. First, the room itself kind of like frames around my head and my body, making me the center of attention. And then as well, we have all these leading lines from the couch, from the prints here, from the roof line walls, the windows, all these leading lines are coming to me, again, bringing the attention to me, the subject. So really, I just like the composition of the shot because of the framing and the leading lines. Now for lighting, I have one of the Aperture 300Ds to the right of me, mimicking as if it's window light because the windows are on that side of the room, so I have it placed there. A lot of times I'll actually close the blinds on the windows just to control the light more, especially on a day where it's going from sunny to cloudy to sunny to cloudy, I don't want that to impact the look of the lighting in my room. So by just simply closing the blinds, then I'm in full control with my key light and my atmosphere light. For this angle, my key light is at 36% power on the 300D, and for the atmosphere light, I have it at 31% power, and as well, I have 5600 Kelvin to match the daylight light coming in from the window. So this is what it would look like with both the lights off, and this is just like the natural light of the room. Pretty dark, not that nice. And then this is with my key light lighting me up. And then that's where the second light comes into play. It's kind of like a prop in the background, but as well, it's an atmosphere light. So I have the Aperture 300D with a lantern in the back corner. That way, as I shoot the light into the back corner, it's gonna spill all over into the rest of the room, creating a nice bright look to the studio angle. So let's turn on that light. And now we have a nice balanced look with the power of the key light and then the atmosphere light bringing that overall look. Let's turn them both off again and let's turn on the key light and then the atmosphere light to bring some more light to the background. Nice balance. Eh? If I didn't have this background light, the key light's kind of overpowering the just natural in the room, meaning everything kind of goes dark in the background and I personally don't like that, so that's why I like to have that atmosphere like in the back just to raise the brightness of the whole room. But yeah, in my opinion, this is a pretty clean looking studio angle. I prefer to have much brighter, minimalistic, clean look to the studio. Other people might prefer a more dark, moody, kind of cluttered look. Everyone's got their own preference, but this is the preference that I like. From the front angle, I'm often switching over to the side angle, especially when I'm doing, for example, a tutorial video where I have different points. I might switch from front angle to side angle to front angle just to change it up and keep the audience engaged. And I like this angle because I have this like wall square framing my head. And then again, I have the picture frames and this doors and my desk and the couch all leading lines towards me. And as well, there's quite a lot of space behind me, so there's nice depth to the room. For this angle, again, I'm mimicking the window light, so I have my key light 45 degrees to the left, 
uh, up higher above me and then pointing downwards to get that nice reverent lighting. For the side angle, my key light is at 39% and again at 5600 Kelvin to match the atmosphere light coming to the room. And then for the atmosphere light to create that ambience, I actually have it at double the power of the front angle at 65%. And this is because in this angle, I usually have the blinds just completely closed. Whereas in the front angle, I might leave the back window opened, let that natural light come in. So again, this is what it would look like with no lighting on, with the blinds closed, it's pretty dang dark in the room. So then with this key light, it just lights up my face nicely and mimics the light coming from the window. Obviously at this point we have a bit of a problem because there's not much ambient light in the room because the window blinds are closed and we only have this strong key light. So we gotta have an atmosphere light to bounce on the walls and just to balance it all out. And that's where I have the 300D with the lantern. I've actually has it placed on the ground behind me and when I turn it on, voila, it just blasts this light all over the wall, just lighting up everyone and making a nice bright room. Having this bright wall behind me really creates separation, especially because I'm often wearing black, so it's nice to have me in the front with black shirt on and a nice white backdrop to create that contrast and separation. I also like the fact that because I have the Aperture 300D with a lantern on the floor, I tilt it a little bit towards the right to make it also light up the brown slot wall because without the backlight, it kind of just goes really black and dark but with the light on, it makes it just nice and brown looking. So again, this is what this angle would look like with no lights on. And this is what it looks like with the key light. And then with my atmosphere ambience light. Again, I think this studio angle looks pretty dang good. I like having that clean look, like I said, with front angle number one. So I try to keep that consistent look throughout all my different studio angles. And now for angle number three, which is the short form content angle, and hence while I'm filming in vertical right now, I flip it all around and everything I have in the front goes to this side of the desk, which means that my a 3 and the tripod is here and then I have this nice wooden slat as the background. For lighting, then I bring the Aperture 300D with the lantern right here, 45 degrees to me, and then I have the Aperture 300D with the light dome behind me to light up the background and as well to frame my head into the shot. So this is what this scene would look like with no lighting on whatsoever. <laughs> very dark in this room. Again, I have the blinds closed just so I can control everything, but it's super dark right now. The only lights really is just coming from my laptop, which I have here with my scripts usually. Now, this is with the key light. Oh, that was the wrong one. Now, this is with the key light. Lights me up nicely, but obviously the background just looks super dark because this is so much more powerful than the ambient light in the room. And that's why then I have the atmosphere light in the background lighting up the wooden slats and as well just creating this nice little frame around my head. Looks pretty dang good, eh? I mean, this is nothing and then this is with both of them on. In my opinion, this is a really nice clean looking uh, angle. Again, I like having a pretty light, uh, earthy tones in my studio angles, so that's why I love having this brown wooden slat to bring those nice earthy tones into the shot. But can you imagine, just with two lights, I'm able to create those three different studio angles for my YouTube channel. Now to end this video, I do wanna iterate again that you don't have to go out and buy the Aperture 300Ds. There are a whole bunch of other lights that are more affordable. I think just two principles to keep in mind when thinking about lighting for your YouTube channel. First, make sure you have diffusers. You wanna have a nice soft box to soften your light. And second, it's good or helpful to get lights where you can change the white balance. That way you can then match the, the white balance of the natural light coming in or the office lights that are wherever you're filming at. So that's really helpful to have lights where you can change the white balance temperature. But yeah, this is my YouTube channel studios in a nutshell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on the new videos coming out and appreciate having you here.